Hey guys, welcome to Rolatec. In today's session, we are going to discuss about what is the difference between basic EWM and advanced EWM. So I'm going to explain this through 10 points. The first one I'm going to consider as licensing and cost. So whenever a client or customer purchases S4 on a server, by default, is going to get the basic EWM functionality, but it which cannot handle the complex various operations. To get the complex zero operation functionalities, customer has to pay extra money to get the advanced EWM functionality. The second factor is inbound and outbound processing. In basic EWM, you can process simple inbound, outbound and midbound process. With the advanced EWM, you can process advanced functionalities like wave management, cross docking, yard management also you can execute. The third factor is Various order and task management with basic EWM, so you can create the various tasks for inbound, outbound, and midbound. But with the advanced EWM, it, it is going to provide the advanced various task optimizations and uh, task interleaving and resource management activities. Now, the fourth factor is labor management. Basic EWM does not support labor management functionality. But whereas in advanced EWM support labor management functionalities like workforce planning, workload balancing, and performance tracking based upon key performance indicators. Now the fifth factor is material flow system. Basic EWM does not support MFS material flow system, which cannot communicate anything to automated various systems. But whereas in advanced EWM will support material flow systems, ASRS without having any middleware. Now the sixth factor is value-added services. Basic EWM does not support value-added services, whereas advanced EWM support value-added services like kitting, your packing, labeling. So nowadays, every warehouse is looking for the advanced functionalities like you know, VAS orders in their systems. Now the seventh factor is slotting and rearrangement. Basic EWM will offer manual flooding process to determine the best storage bin. Whereas advanced EWM provides automatic slotting and rearrangement process based upon the product demand and space utilization alerts. Next eight factor, exception handling. Basic EWM will provide limited exception handling for your warehouse errors and process deviations. Advanced EWM offers extensive to exception handling such as various alerts, deviation management and automated correction mechanisms. Factor number 9, integration with SAP TM and TP. So basic EWM offers basic integration of SAP TM and TP integrations but the complex TP and TM integrations we cannot integrate with EWM. But whereas in advanced EWM will tightly and deeply integrated to all your transportation management and production planning activities. The last and the tenth factor is various structure and layout. The basic EWM functionalities uh, will support the basic EWM organization structures like you know your storage bins, section put away strategies and stock remote strategies. Whereas advanced EWM provides various organization structures like storage bins, storage bin types, mixed handling units with optimum slotting and rearrangement strategies. Thanks for watching this video. Our next SAP EWM training batch is going to start on March 24th. For more details, go through our Instagram and Facebook.